Hi boys and girls. So before you've watched this video, you should have seen two uh, assignments in your folder before this video, and there were two songs. There were two sentence songs. So if you haven't watched those yet, you need to stop this recording and go watch those two videos and then come back to this one. This is the third thing that's in your folder. You have two other things right above this, two songs that are about sentences, and you need to watch those two songs first and then come back to this video. So if you haven't done that, go do that and then come back to this video. Okay. And in those two songs that you listened to, you heard that we have to start our sentence with a capital letter. You have to end it with either a period, a question mark or an exclamation mark. And then you also heard in one of those songs that you need to have spaces. And then you also have to make sure that your sentence is telling a complete idea. It needs to have a naming part and an action part, a telling part. So these are all things we've been practicing um, before we left for our winter break. And so we're going to do some more practice together. And so you need your journal and you need your pencil and then you need to come back. So if you need to hit pause to go grab those two things, go grab those two things and then hit play. And so for this first one, you're just going to watch me. If you want to copy me and follow along exactly as I'm doing it in your journal, you can, or you can just watch and listen. You'll get a chance to practice with me and by yourself in a little bit. Okay. So I'm looking at my picture and I see a lion. And so I need to think about what the lion is doing or what a lion can do. It doesn't even need to be what this lion is doing but I know my naming part is the lion. And over here, I have some words to help me in case I want to use them. I have roars, jumps, climbs, eats. Now this picture really isn't showing the lion doing any of these things, but that's okay, I can make something up, okay? And so I'm going to start off with the word the, capital letter, the, Okay, then I need to put a space. And now I'm going to use what I practiced yesterday, my syllables, to help me spell the word lion. So you're gonna hear me, I don't need to do it with me. Lie on. Two syllables. Lie on. So I'm going to write my first syllable first. L I. And then it's still the same word, so I'm not putting a space. On, lie on, on. The lion, just my naming part. I don't have a telling or action part yet, so that's not a sentence. So I need to think. I can use roars, jumps, climbs, eats, or something else. I'm going to use eats. The lion, so I can just copy that word. The lion eats. Now that has my naming part. It also has my telling part, but I want it to tell a little bit more. I want it to tell what the lion eats. The lion eats the, and I think what do I want to put for what he's gonna eat? I'm gonna put the lion eats the grass. So I'm gonna use my syllables, grass. Grass is just one syllable. Grrr, it's a blend. Gra grass. And then I need to end my sentence. I'm not saying it like I'm excited. I'm not asking it as a question. And just a period. The lion eats the grass. Now I'm going to check. Capital letter, check. Do I have a punctuation mark? Yep, check. So I put spaces. Yes, I did. And did I tell a naming part? There's my naming part, the lion. And the telling part, did I tell what action he does? Yep, he eats. So the lion eats the grass. So now you're going to write one with me. If you didn't write that one with me, that's fine. That was just to kind of watch and listen. But this time now we're going to work together. So go ahead and pick up your pencil, get your journal, and let's look at a picture together and work on a sentence together. So here we have the turtle. 
some words that we might want to use walk eat swim hide i might even need to add an s to these words when i am writing to make them make sense in my sentence okay so we can either start off with a turtle or the turtle i'm going to put the so go ahead and write with me capital t because it's the beginning of our sentence the okay. space let's clap out the syllables in turtle tur tull so i'm gonna do my first syllable t -er -t -er. Tur. so my second syllable tur tull tull Now that's not exactly how we spell turtle, but right now in first grade, we're using our syllables and the sounds that we know to help us. The turtle walks, eats, swims, hides. I'm gonna do hides so I can copy it. I'm not gonna put hide, I have to add the S. I'm just gonna copy the word hides. The turtle hides. Now I could be done with my sentence because that makes sense, the turtle hides, but I want to make it a little bit better. The turtle hides in his shell. The turtle hides in, eh, eh, in. Think about the sound you hear for his. Is, is, it is, is. The turtle hides in his. Make sure you're putting those spaces. Now we're gonna do the word shell. Ooh, at the beginning, I hear a digraph. I hear two. I hear one sound, but I'm going to use two letters. Shh. What two letters go? Shh. The turtle hides in his shh. S H eh. Sh -l. And I'm just telling you that. So I'm going to put my period. Okay. And I'm going to check for my four things. Do I have a capital letter? Yep. Did I end it with a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark? Yep. And I pick the period because I'm just telling you. I have my spaces and I have my naming part, the turtle. Do I have a telling part, what he does? Yep, hides in his shell. So our sentence is done. Okay, so we're going to go to another one. So either um, scoot down on your paper, or if you need a new page, you can go to a new page. I'm going to erase. So here we have a bird. We have the words over here, fly, dive, sing, peck. We can use those or we can come up with some other things. We're still going to work together. So we're gonna write the same sentence. You'll get a um, chance in a second to do one completely by yourself. So I'm going to put the. Now try and use your lines the best you can. I'm kind of having a hard time because I'm using my mouse, but try and do your best handwriting. The, I'm going to put a space. Well, my naming part I know is my bird. The bird. Oh, goodness. There we go. The bird. Now I can use, I've got fly, dive, sing, peck. Remember, I probably will need to add an S. Flies, dives, sings, pecks. Or I can even come up with something completely different. So for this time, I'm going to put the bird sits in a tree. The bird, let's do the word s it. S -i -t. But I want to add an S because I want to say sits. The bird sits in. Think about what you need. I -n, I -n, in. A, and then let's do the word tree. At the beginning, you're going to hear a blend. T -r, t -r. E. Now at the end, we hear a vowel team. It's going to be a vowel team. And we know that E-A could make the E sound. We know that E-E -E could make the E sound. Because so you know when two vowels go walking, the first one does a talking and the first one zips its lips. Okay, so I just happen to know because I've seen the word tree so many times, I know that tree uses this vowel team. 
And that's just something as you see words more and more and you read more and more, you'll just start memorizing some of these things. The bird sits in a tree. Okay, now let's check for four things. Capital letter, yes. Uh-oh, yeet, didn't put something. So I'm not saying it like I'm excited. I'm not asking it as a question. I'm just telling you. I'm going to add my period. I do have my spaces, and I do have a naming part, the bird, and I do have the telling part and the action part, what it does. It sits in a tree. Okay, so on the next one, you're going to get to try it on your own. So let me go ahead and erase this. Okay, so we're going to skip that one, and we're going to come to this one. So we have the snake. So I'm going to help you out by spelling the word snake up here for you. S-N-A-K-E. Okay, so you're going to start off with either the snake or a snake. And you might use the word slithers, bites, lays eggs. Should be an S there, sorry. And or hisses, you might even say hisses. Okay, so you're gonna put a snake or the snake, and then you can either say slithers, bites, lays eggs, hisses, or you can come up with something completely on your own. So for example, I might say the snake hisses at the dog, or I might say the snake bites my leg, or the snake slithers in the grass or something completely different. The snake drinks water. You decide, but you need to start with your naming part. So the snake, and then decide and finish what it's going to do. And make sure you're checking for your capital letter, spaces, make sure you end it probably with a period because we're just telling, these are mostly gonna be telling sentences. <laughs> Okay, and so I want you to go ahead and think of those things, write your sentence, you're going to need to pause, so you have time to write, and then when you're done with your sentence, hit play again, and you'll see me go to the next slide. Okay, so you're going to try one more now on your own, so we're going to go to, here's the monkey. Okay, and before I let you do your own sentence, let's think about the word monkey. Let's use our syllables. I went too far. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can get back to our monkey slide. There we go. Okay, so I want you to use your syllables and stretch out the word monkey. So we've got mon key. So two syllables. So I'm going to write m un. M un. And then my second syllable, mon key. E. Now this is not exactly how you spell monkey, okay. but right now we used our syllables and we're practicing that, so this is an okay way to spell monkey for right now. If you know a different way or you know exactly how to spell it, that's fine too. But you're going to start your sentence with a monkey or the monkey. You have some choices. You have jumps, swings, climbs, or plays or you can come up with your own ideas. So maybe the monkey swings in the tree, or the monkey plays with a banana, or the monkey climbs up high. You can decide. It doesn't have to be some of these words. You might be able to come up with something else, but make sure you have your capital letter. Make sure you have your spaces. Make sure you end it with the period. And then also make sure that you have your naming part the monkey, and then your telling part. Okay. And when you're done, that's it for our lesson for today. So do your very best on that sentence. And maybe you can show me your sentence or two of your sentences when we have some time in a live meeting. Okay. Thank you for working so hard.